Hi guys on YouTube, this is uh, Joseph Leo Grandi, the director and founder of Traffic Light 678 Technologies Incorporated. Today, I'm going to show you how to wire a plug. You'll need a plug and the uh, piece you're going to be hooking the plug onto. First thing you want to do is uh, remove your plug screws. from your plug Make sure you save all of your screws because you will be needing them when you put this plug back together. Otherwise, the plug will not go in correctly. You want to make sure you loosen the terminal screws, but not remove them. You're going to need them. So, uh, here's the disassemble plug since it's a grounded cover there is a, only one way they'll let you fit this together so this right here is obviously what the plug is there to want it's just a uh, short uh, stubby power cord Think uh, cord in. This can be used for like if you're wiring a uh, a vintage like if when you buy a uh, vintage uh, Hoover vacuum or for of eBay or uh, if you buy a uh, a welder or any appliance or like certain model floor machines they don't come with one of these fitted from appliances back in the day you had to buy these yourself and fit them because you would get an end like this welders these days you do plug I'm going to be putting on is a NEMA 515P the, and this plugs are idiot proof these plugs are because the ground wire always goes to your green ground screw, neutral to silver, and black to brass. And 
if it's a 240 volt plug, I need my six, it doesn't matter which side your white and black go, because they're both hot. But a four prong plug, you must pay attention and it doesn't matter which side the black and red go on because those are both hot. So now, I'll show you how to screw this thing up to the end of the wire. I'll be right here. Let me grab some cutters, did I? Okay, guys, so the first thing you want to do is take the cord of the appliance you're wiring And get it to correspond to the terminal lens. Now we need to take our shell and slide the cord through the strain relief into the shell, but we're not going to tighten the strain relief yet. And now I'm going to strip these wires. What I need? This procedure is exactly the same for wiring an end to a connector for an extension cord. Just follow the booklet that comes with the plug. Most plugs, the tutorial I'm giving you here will work. You know, yours may differ depending on what brand you got. And now to let you know that this plug Head is idiot proof. The green wire always goes to your third prong or green screw. With the green screw loosened, we're going to slip this in. This is in the industry what they call a compression fitting. And it helps to group each of the copper strands by tightening them together before inserting. And when you insert, you don't want any exposed copper head. You don't want any exposed copper.
And uh, when you do this, don't be afraid to attack to add some torque to this because you do not want this coming loose. The, gr the ground is connected, no exposed copper. We'll do the same thing for the black. It goes to the gold screw or brass or some people refer to it as a brass screw, which is always the prong that is the narrower one, not the polarized one. Some plug heads you could even remove the prongs to make this task a little easier. Yeah, and also always make these you know extra tight making sure you got no exposed copper and that that PVC insulation meets the terminal head. We want this, you know, we got the wires, black to the gold, white to the silver, or if it's a NEMA 620, 650, or a 615, it doesn't matter, and always the green to your ground screw. And you don't want to be afraid to put... torque on this because you never want these wires coming loose ever. Now we'll slip the housing back in. and close up the plug. This technique can also be very useful if you have to ever make adapter plugs. And you're not afraid to put torque on this either because like the terminal screws I put so much torque and also this. Because this can never come apart, because otherwise it could cause a problem. And now, we'll tighten the strain relief. Real tight.
Hold on, shut off my light. I have a clapper attached. Hold on. I was just turning off the desk lamp with my clapper that I have attached below. Soon I'm going to be getting a Twinco 600 DC portable lamp bank like the MTA uses alongside of our subway tracks in New York City. It's basically a lamp bank, it's five light bulbs and Twinco Manufacturing out in Long Island don't ship their lamp banks with plugs. So this, if you're ever thinking about getting a New York City Transit Track Workers Lamp Bank, and it has no alligator clips or plugs. If you want to get it as a connect, co collector's item, this tutorial should be helpful. In that case, you would put the red to the brass, black to the silver, and that's how you would wire fit a plug like this onto that. So be careful, it could be heavier gauge wire, and make sure. The plug you get matches your wire gauge. Otherwise, you could have very, very serious electrical problems. Walk that down. There you go. You just see how to wire a plug.